Hello and welcome to this little CCB video blog. Today I'm going to be doing a review of some sunglasses. These ones right here. TAC glasses. As seen on TV. As seen on TV, uh-huh. Yeah. Polarized. Yeah. Yeah. See clearly without the glare. Yeah. Well, duh. That's what polarization does. I don't know. I got these things for Christmas. I figured since I got them, a lot of people ask me about the sunglasses I'm wearing. So I figured, you know, since I got them, might as well open them up, see what they're like, see what the quality's like. I found them for the most part for $19.95. I've seen them for $24.95. They're as seen on TV, but they come in like sports places like Big Five and they've always had these. They used to have HD glasses. They used to have eagle eye glasses. It was all the glasses that you saw on TV with their infomercials about how amazing and how you could see so much better. A lot of times the lenses are yellow because just the yellow lens itself seems to enhance it, make it see like you could see better. And I am going to be comparing them to the ones I'm wearing. These are only $9.95. They're polarized. They are kind of cheap, but they're $9.99. But the lenses are good. They help you see through the water. And that's one thing you need when you're bass fishing is to cut the glare and be able to see through the water. You can see the fish, especially, you know, with the spring coming up at bedtime. A lot of people have glasses and they say, and, and, and I kind of fell for this too at first. They say they have all the all the bells and whistles. It covers you from everything. The UVA, the PBA, the UFO, the whatever all the, the things are that hit our eyes that we're not. And so people see that and even if they're fairly expensive sunglasses, it's full protection, all this, people assume they're polarized. but. They're not always, most of them aren't. They have to say polarized on them. And you think, oh, well, mine are polarized. I have really expensive glasses. Well, I have these glasses right here. These are $170 Ray-Ban Wayfarers, the Wayfarer 2. And $170, really good lenses and that. Not polarized though. <laughs> now, and also a lot of people are like, well, how do you know if it's polarized? Well, let me see if I can do this. I will put these glasses in front of that. And what it should do is take the glare off of this windshield. See if this works. I don't know. It's hard. There we go. See the difference between that? I don't know. I don't know if you can see it through this, but usually when you try to look without them, you can't see through the windshield and then you see all the clouds and everything. And then you put on the polarized glasses and cuts the glare and you can see right through the, the windshield or the back glass. But uh, all right, I'm not going to do the review here. I'm going to take these things into my backyard at the table, open these puppies up and see what the quality is heading over that way okie dokie back here at the table in the backyard and back here now I have this camera so I can give you a little bit more of a uh, little bit more of a close-up of what this tack glasses packaging looks like see it right there I said it says see clearly without the glare Enhances colors, blocks blinding glare, improves optical clarity, light filtering technology. Light filtering technology, isn't that what polarization is? Light filtering technology. Oh, and they have, a, hey, I have this guy here, Nick Bolton. I don't know who Nick Bolton is. I had to look him up. Evidently, he's, he's an, an actor. I don't know. Usually these things, you know, they always do this. They always have to have some like celebrity on there little as seen on TV, incredible, incredible glasses that they create. Yeah, see clearly, light filtering technology. I like that, light, light filtering technology. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's polarization, guys. Um, alrighty, oh look, it includes a lens, polarized lens tester. Polarized lens tester too. And oh, and on the back here it shows you, well it does on the front too, I forgot. Look, before and after before and after. So uh, yeah, this is still sealed. And uh, all right, well, brought a handy dandy little uh, instrument here. Alrighty, <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Now let's see, all right, all right, this seems to be easy. Oh, all right, all right, yeah, there we go. Well, there we go. Um, oh, 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 look at that. It comes with a, whoops. Ooh, it comes with, ooh, look at that. That's fancy, guys. Comes with a carrying case. 
and the little wipey thing to wipe it down. Wow, that's that's high tech. Let's see what this. Uh, what the hell? Where's my where's my? Oh, it's right there. I was say, where's my tester? Where's my polarization tester? Uh, where tack glasses to see image? Well, actually, you can see the image without the glasses on because these are polarized. Remember, guys? And yeah, I, I guess you can see the colors. That's what it looks like unpolarized. And evidently, you put the polarized on, and you can see the colors. Now let's see. Ooh, I already see a problem, guys. I already see a problem. For one, the lens is coming out of the frame. How do I get into this? What the hell? Um, all right. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. All right. I got the bad boys out. But look at that. First off the bat, guys, look. <laughs> the lens is not in the frame. It is, it is outside of the frame. That's not good. The first thing is that the lens is falling out of the frame. Is it going to stay? All right. Kind of seems to be in there right now. Uh, all right, so that's that's one bad thing right there, guys. I pull them out in the frame. The lens is kind of falling out of the frame. Uh, all right, another thing I notice. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't look like this is where it should be on the lens, does it? <laughs> this side's high and this side's low. Oh, this isn't good, guys. <laughs> yeah, the little nose guard thing. It's not staying where it should. I tried to put it back and it keeps falling down. Okay, so so right off the bat, guys, two strikes against him. Uh, the nose thing is not staying and <laughs> the actual lens was not inside the frame. Let's see the bending, kind of all right. It seems, it seems rigid. I mean, it's more rigid than these. I mean, these are $9. So I expected it coming in. I, I mean, I know they're cheap and they're kind of flimsy, but they're only $9.99. These are like $19.99 to $24.99. These were actually good when they came out. I mean, the nose piece, the lenses, everything was good. I mean, $9.99 are a little flimsy, but yeah, for, for the lens to be out, this, uh, this nose thing will not go back in the way it's supposed to. I push it in there, it keeps falling down. I so said, I thought these were going to be yellow. They're actually not yellow lenses. Uh, but let, let me try them on and see if there's any difference from these $9.99 glasses. Uh, wow. <laughs> They're actually darker for one. I actually think it looks, I think these look better. <laughs> I think looking at the 999s look better than these. It really is sort of, I don't know, they're really dark for one. I mean, yeah, they're polarized. But yeah, they're, I mean, they feel pretty comfortable. Feeling, I mean, on they're pretty comfortable and they are a little more rigid than these, but the fact that the lens was already falling out, this nose piece was, is, I mean, it's still not staying, it keeps sliding down. I mean, they feel pretty comfortable. As far as wearing them, they feel nice, but the lenses are really, the lenses are really dark. I like these way better. This, this is, <laughs> these glasses actually, the lenses look way better than these. These are just really dark. I mean, usually when you're there, you don't, I mean, you want it to filter it, but you don't want it to be like your Ray Charles, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's nice, it's polarized, but I can't see anything, it's so dark. That's sort of my review of these things, guys. Yeah, first off, I'm gonna go back to these. First off, you saw right when I opened it, the lens was out. This nose thing is still isn't staying. I mean, it, it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable when you have them on. They are, you know, I will give them, they, they are more sturdy than the ones that I'm wearing. But uh, the fact the lens is coming out, the fact that nose thing, and the fact the lenses are so dark. I mean, I, I, I came and judge them on style. I mean, I guess you guys can leave a comment and say, do they look really good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that, but yeah. So yeah, issues, issues. So yeah, all right, there, there's, there's my honest review of these. Better off probably going to Walmart, getting these Terminators for $9.99. I like cheaper ones anyway, because I always end up breaking them or scratching them. Uh, so yeah, I would say, I would say no to these tech glasses. Oh, I didn't even see if they're actually even. Ah, you set them down, they're actually even. Sometimes, you know, put them down and, and one ear's up or something. I say not worth the money if you see these. <laughs> uh, don't, do not get the, uh, tack glasses. I don't, 
I don't think they're really that. I don't think they're worth it. It's 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 shoddy, at best. Especially for twenty bucks, and you can get these right here, Terminators from Walmart, for nine ninety nine. Oh wait, wait. Forgot to compare them to the one hundred and seventy dollar. Well, obviously, one hundred seventy dollar Ray Bans are going to be a lot heavier, a lot nicer. They're one hundred seventy bucks, just like your nice Revo glasses and that. But yeah, you ever see these things, guys? No. No to the tack glasses. So, all right, now that's going to do it. And yeah, till the next video blog. Gotta find something else to review.